everyone, what's up? This is the Koku here. Welcome back to Automation. Today, I'm thinking of something a little bit different. So, you know how all three of our cards have been completely garbage? I'm thinking of actually making a good ca card this time. Now, I think well, it's just gonna end up as bad as the others. But today, I'm thinking of making a rear engine, rear wheel drive car with a boxer. Right, I'm gonna make it sporty, slick, cool, hopefully fun. <laughs> okay, honestly, I don't, I don't know how this is going to work. Hopefully, it'll be good and we'll have some freaking 375 horsepower monster. Although, I highly doubt that. But, regardless, I'm going to have fun. You're gonna, going to have fun. We're all going to have fun. Okay, you, you might not have fun because you're not really doing this, but... Yeah, whatever, it doesn't matter. Okay, so all of these are rear wheel drive. Which body to choose, however, that's something completely different. You could do some something like like nine you can have a nineties look. That might be cool. 85 oh jeez. That's just a full on like race car. Okay, that that's literally the body of a Datsun. Alright. I feel like going to do the uh, little 90s body type. We're just gonna do corrosion resistant steel. Yeah, let's let's do No, I'll do some ice space frame. Now we're going to do rear longitudinal so the engine will be in the rear. Well let's do double wishbone. Double wishbone. Alright, now here is the engine. We're going to have a boxer. We'll try a we'll try to do a six cylinder boxer. If that can't fit, then we'll do a kid, I didn't even I didn't even like put the whole thing together yet. Give me a break. We're going to see if it fits, and if it can't, then oh well. Okay, we need the max RPM. Let's do that. Okay, so lengthwise, it fills the whole thing. But besides that, oh yeah, we have a great engine on our. We have a great engine with us. It says it doesn't fit, it's like... Oh, we, we legit cannot have it that big. Alright, so we got that done. Do billet steel. Let's do lightweight titanium. Let's do lightweight forged. Alright, I just want to see how it'll do without doing any of this. Alright, so looks like without me messing up anything, we can get a whopping 200 horsepower. Whoa. Alright. But we know how this is going to work, alright? We're going to get as much power as humanly possible. Okay, that actually completely hurts it. Alright, doing that is pretty gosh darn good. Oh no. Okay, you know what? We're just gonna keep it naturally aspirated, huh? Yeah, no, uh -huh, sure. So, eight. So, this thing can go up to 8300 RPM. Okay, nice. Alright, we're crazy enough. We're actually able to get 374 horsepower. And we didn't even have to turbocharge it. I mean, again, turbocharging just completely ends it. Yeah, okay, so, um... 
me remind myself to never turbocharge anything unless I know exactly what I'm doing in order to turbocharge. Anyways, let's let's test it. That sounds great. Of course, you only got one body option, which is the 90 foot coupe. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry, why are the tires sticking out so much? I think this is the first time we're going to keep a car red. Yeah. But we really gotta trim that. We, we gotta change this. We, we gotta put, we gotta put some flipping arches in. All right, I think we're pretty good in the body here. Let's get some headlights. All right, those actually don't, those don't look too bad. They don't look too bad actually. Now we're gonna need, we're going to need a great grill. All right, let's see. Let's let's do this one maybe not too bad. All right. I don't really want to mess up with like vents or scoops. I should the grill is like only for aesthetic purposes. There is no like the engines in the rear. What what is it cooling? And see, this says window slash sunroof. So like I want to put like a window here. Yeah, I like that. Now we already technically already got a lip for it. We. We're probably going to have to. We're gonna add like a little. We're going to add a very small but effective wing. Like that one's probably the best option. No, that looks ugly. I, w I just want something that like drapes over it. All right. Sure. We'll, we'll have at that. Why are they always on the wrong way? Like, come on. Yeah, these these are totally going to help. You see. Uh -huh. All right, now the number plate. The front will not have that. Instead, it'll have the glorified uh, Andy car badge that every Andy car will use for the rest of eternity. And with oh. I even I did not even realize we can change the wheels, the exhaust tip, or add like tow hooks and whatnot. Alright, we're gonna add some super sporty rims. There we go. Fake vents. Oh, it's like for the back if we really wanted to. I don't know, I feel like having it open looks way better. What's this? No clue. I can have a gas cap on the back. I mean, a gas can on the back. Look, you can have 4x4. Four four. Oh, I have a whole load of letters, so I guess this is... Okay, and vinyls. I guess this is for, uh, like, naming your vehicle. Then you can add a tow hook if you want. Anyways, it's going to be rear wheel drive. We're going to make it manual. We're going to do... Five gears. We're going to add... A geared LSD. Okay, I highly doubt it will go 231 miles per hour. I'd say maybe 180. Even that's kind of, that's like really kind of close. All right, let's do sports compound. Let's make them carbon fiber. Make them super light. Let's do vented discs. Six pistons, sure. Vented discs as well. Yeah, we need some downforce. Yep, we'll have two seats. Or let's just add some basic infotainment. So you know, basic as in a radio and maybe a fan. All right, let's see power steering. Let's add an electric variable power steering. ESC plus LC. 
and safety. Let's let's just do a, let's just do um standard tens, sure. It, it will make it a bit heavier, but no. Let's do active sport. Semi-active dampers. Huh. That's isn't it's not that bad. It's it can be considered a hypercar. Well, looks like mostly it's a supercar. A supercar man? Oh, come on. That That is just we no. Alright, we have actually made a good car. So this goes up to 175 miles, has a 0 to 60 in only 4.7 seconds. That's pretty good for a freaking, for a rotary engine. Alright, you gotta remember, this is a naturally aspirated rotary engine. So it's like, <laughs> like this thing is a beast and how much does it have again 302 horsepower okay so 4.7 seconds with 302 horsepower let's see how else goes around the top gear test track i'm feeling pretty confident about this change the brake fade so honestly it's just gonna have to stay that way oh should I even I forgot to change the car's name the Andy car Ooh, this is gonna be very difficult to choose what should I call this this is gonna be really this is gonna be corny there the Andy Car Redliner. I know that it's so corny and niche, but that's what I'm calling it. I'm calling this the Andy Car Redliner. So let's export this into BMNG and let's test drive this thing. I cannot wait to try this out. Honestly, this is, I don't feel like, I feel like it's not like the greatest sounding engine, but it's still very, very good. It's only considered a supercar, okay? 301 horsepower, naturally aspirated, considered a flipping supercar. That, that is just that we have the Andy car redliner available to drive all right let's test it out in beam ng and we are now on beam ng drive here we go we are about to test the Andy car redliner i am excited i'm so excited to try this out i I don't know what to expect, but hopefully I get a really fun experience. Alright, let's test it out.
Okay, the engine has completely stopped. Okay, we're gonna have to restart that. against any of my previous cars like this one will just smoke them in the dust we we'll even get close wow okay oh there you go the anti-car redliner one of the best cars i have ever actually made and with that we are going to end the episode here everyone Thank you so much for tuning in today. Be sure to like this video if you want more BeamNG. Subscribe if you want to see more BeamNG. And as always, I will see you guys in the next episode of BeamNG. Yeah, stay cool.